Continuing on with optical fibres, let's have a quick look at the frequencies of light they use. They are specified frequencies. If I look at the loss in, um, in energy versus wavelength, visible wavelengths of light, let me just grab a texture, uh, 400 to 700, so they're up there. This is absorption of um, energy versus frequency in glass. That's visible light. I thought I'd mention this, so I'm coming back later to re-record it. As the wavelength of light decreases, the frequency increases. Notice that as the frequency increases, i.e. the graph moves towards the left, the absorption basically increases exponentially. This is why visible light is not used as the transmission media in optical fibre, because the attenuation would be way too high and it would be inefficient. Instead they use infrared and near-infrared wavelengths which are not absorbed as much. We work on the longer wavelengths than visible, which is the infrared and near-infrared. That is infrared, that is near-infrared. An 850 nanometer, there are three key frequencies used. 850 nanometers is produced by an LED. So we've got one sitting about there that has that sort of a loss level. Around about, that's multi-mode, that's single mode, three decibels per kilometer. So every kilometer it halves in strength in glass. At around about 1200 and something nanometers, 1240, the water that's present inside the glass starts to absorb the laser light. So you cannot use 1240 nanometer light. You cannot use 1380 nanometer light because of the um, physics involved in transmitting light through glass. It just interferes with water and um, you just lose your effectiveness. The most, two most effective means of transmission are 1300 nanometers produced by an LED or 1310 produced by a particular type of laser. 1550 nanometers also produced by a laser which produces a focused beam. On the other side of this graph starting around about 1600 nanometers you notice a rapid rise in absorption with wavelength. This is due to the physics of silica and its interaction with light at this frequency. The other comment I'm going to make on attenuation is LEDs and lasers emit a range of wavelengths. Even though they're in a narrow band, there's not one, there is a range. The refractive index of a glass is proportional to the wavelength it sees. A spread of wavelengths means a spread of speeds. A spread of speeds, as we've spoken about, means a scattering of the pulse. 